Hello everyone and welcome to the Mathsman YouTube channel, the home of fun maths activities. In this video today, I'm going to show you how to play a game called Domino War. And as the name suggests, to play this game, you are going to need a pack of dominoes. Now, if you don't have physical dominoes like I have, I will put a link in the description to a website where you can print off uh, paper dominoes and you can make your own. Now, this is a fantastic game to play in the classroom if you're looking to develop place value skills, um, decimal skills, and, and general problem solving skills. Um, I'm going to start this video by showing you how to play the basic version of this game. Um, and then towards the end of the video, I'm going to show you an alternative version that you can play uh, that involves decimals. Now, this is a game that can be adapted for students who are only five years old all the way up until you know key stage three even so you know 12 13 maybe even 14 year olds but before we get started if you are new around here and you would like to see more ideas for the classroom more games more fun activities then please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell so you are notified when i release new videos so as i've already mentioned to play Dominoes war you're going to need some dominoes and you're going to need a piece of paper and a pen now this can be played up to four players but in in the examples that i'm going to show we're just going to play two players so we've got player one and we've got player two so the game starts when player one will pick two dominoes and player two will also pick two dominoes so they will turn them over in secret and they will take a look at the numbers that are on the dominoes. Now, the aim of the game is to make the highest number that you can. So um, player two here has got a four and a six and a three and a six. Now, what they need to do is they need to figure out the highest number that they can. So if I put these two dominoes together like this, it would give me my highest number. So it would be 6,463. I could have had 4,663. I could have had 4,636. Okay. So all of the numbers on the dominoes represents a digit. Okay, and they could obviously swap them around whichever the way they want. So in this example, player one has 6,436. Player one, the highest number that they could have made was 6,531. And <clears throat> the player which had the highest number is player one, so they receive one point. And then you just keep repeating this until there are no dominoes left. And the player which has the most points wins the round. So an alternative way you can play this game <clears throat> when playing with younger students is by just picking one domino each. So that would make a two digit number. Now, if you see a blank, that is just a zero. So player one here would make 41. And player two would just have the number 20. So in, in this next example, we are going back to playing the four digit version of the game. Um, and I'm now going to show you a rule that you can introduce to add extra fun and excitement to the game. So just as before, the players will pick two dominoes each. And in secret, they will look at the dominoes that they have. So player two here has quite a good number. They have 5,544 in their hand. And player one has not a very good number. They have a really low number. So the highest number that they can make is 2,110. Now, the new rule that you can introduce into the game is basically stick or twist. So if they stick, then what that means is they are happy with the number that they have and they are going to play their dominoes. OK, so player two here has quite a high number, so they're probably going to want to stick. 
Okay, they're not going to want to take this risky chance that I'm about to describe. So they're going to stick player two because they have quite a high number. Now, player one, they've got a low number and they probably feel that they have a small chance of winning. So what they can do is they can uh, twist. So they can choose one domino that they have and they can put it back into the domino pile and they can pick another one at random to try and improve their number. And as you can see here, player one has now um, improved the number that they had the first time. So now they have 5,421, okay? But unfortunately for player one, they have still lost because they do not have the highest number. So that's a point for player two. Um, and that is another rule that you can add. So there is actually a third layer to this game that you could introduce to, again, add some more fun. So um, let's just imagine that these two players have uh, gone through the first stage where they have made the highest number that they can. This player here um, decided to twist and take a domino out of the pack. OK, um, but the third uh, stage or the third layer that you could add to this game is um stealing okay so you imagine both players they still haven't um showed what number that they have or what dominoes that they have now player one will go first and they can decide do they want to steal a domino or do they want to keep so if they're really happy with their number they can keep their number if they want OK, but they might decide to steal. So they would take their lowest domino. So this one here and they would steal a domino off the other player. And it would be a direct swap. Now it would go over to player two and they would then swap their lowest domino and they could steal either of the dominoes from the other player. And once that has been done, then the players eventually show their scores to see who has the highest now to make this more fun the players will shuffle the dominoes in their hand or maybe behind the, their back uh, so the other player can't see um, and it's just comes down to a, a game of chance so the final way that this game can be played is by introducing decimals so again the game starts the same where the player will turn over two dominoes each <clears throat> again this will be done in secret they will try and make the highest number that they can so player one here has a a number of 61 decimal point and one zero so they have 61.10 player two here has 50 uh, <coughs> 50 Point two two, and again the first uh, the next stage of the game would be to decide if they want to stick or twist so this player would probably decide to twist and pick another domino so they've slightly improved their number this player here might decide to twist and this player has significantly improved their number and then the third uh, stage of the game would be to decide to stick or twist so this player uh, to steal sorry or keep this player here would probably um go and steal one of the dominoes off this player um, and then this player would mix them up and this player would try and steal it back probably and then at the end of the game you would see who has the highest number and that would be uh, player one here with 61 Point one one, and this player has sixty point five zero. That would be a point for player one. Thank you again for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, please do let me know down in the comments if you have decided to go and play this game, and what you thought of it. And also in the comment section, tell me if there are any rules that you added to the ones that I showed you in this video. Um, so others can maybe benefit from that and play that version or your version of the game at home too. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.